So there's three different types of plate boundaries that we're going to learn about today. The first is a divergent plate boundary. The second is a convergent. And the third is a transform. These are all essential to understanding the geology of the Earth's surface. So the first that we're going to focus on today is a divergent plate boundary. This is when two pieces of crust or lithosphere are being separated. So they're going to go in opposite directions. And when this happens, we have this magma here that upwells onto the surface and creates what is known as a mid-ocean ridge. An example of a mid-ocean ridge is the mid-Atlantic ridge found between North America and Europe. Um, but these are also found on continents and they look exactly the same. And these um, are called continental rifts. An example of this is the East African Rift. So the second type of plate boundary that we're going to focus on today is a convergent. And this one's a little different because it has three different components. You can have an oceanic, oceanic plate boundary that is convergent. You can have an oceanic continental. And you can also have continental, continental. So the first one of these that we're going to focus on today is the oceanic oceanic. So an oceanic oceanic plate boundary is when you have two pieces of crust. One of them is a oceanic and the other one is also an oceanic but it gets subducted or goes underneath another piece of oceanic crust. And what this does is this goes deep into the earth and gets recycled. When this right here will form what is known as an island arc, and usually there's volcanoes here. So an example of this is the Aleutian Islands off the coast of Alaska. That little tail off of the coast of Alaska is what is caused by the oceanic oceanic plates converging and causing these island arcs. The second example here that we're going to talk about is the oceanic continental. And this is the same exact idea as the oceanic oceanic except that the oceanic piece of crust here gets subducted underneath a piece of the continental crust. And the reason for this is that the oceanic crust is a little bit more dense, so it will go underneath the continental crust because it is heavier and, and has the capability of going underneath. So what we see here is usually we'll see mountain ranges and then a really deep trench underneath the ocean here. And so where you see these is along the coasts of continents. So an example of this would be the Andes Mountains. So the third example of the convergent boundaries is the continental, continental. This is when two plates come together and they crash into each other and form mountain ranges. And these mountain ranges will become larger and larger and continue to go up. An example of this is the Himalayan mountains. So the third type of plate boundary that we're going to talk about today is one that affects us the most as human beings. These are the transform plate boundaries. And these transform plate boundaries happen when we have one piece of crust that slides against another. And there's no 
creation or destruction of any lithosphere here. And these can be also called transform faults or fault lines. And the most interesting part of this transform fault is that when these slabs of rock slide past each other, they often create earthquakes. And so an example of one of these transform faults or transform boundaries is the San Andreas Fault along the coast of California.